Okay, first of all, what is it about department stores that when you go shopping, they have fluorescent lights in the dressing rooms shining down on you so that when I am looking for a dress to wear on Katie's show, I look like a bag of doorknobs and cottage cheese. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I, granted, I hadn't exercised all year, so, and I was eating Twizzlers off the craft service table, so I, it was my fault, partially. But now I've gotten back, and so I'm not drinking, and I am juicing, and I'm spinning, and I've lost, and actually, I've lost three pounds in well, the last week Well, don't lose too half. much, because you, so. you are quite thin enough, oh, I think, well, really. Thanks. Thank you. And let's talk about Raymond, because, of course, I mean, you're fantastic in the middle, but if, yeah. we all fell in love with you on Everybody Loves Raymond, and back thank in... You. Back in 1996, I read that when you auditioned for the role, you were extremely stressed out and, and, and kind of frazzled because of a babysitter situation. Yes. And that actually worked to your advantage? It really worked. Um, you know, we were clipping coupons to save 50 cents on ballpark francs. You know, I mean, we were, we, I needed this job. And then, but the sitter had to go, was in college and she had to go to class. And I'm like, okay, I promise I'll be right back. And uh, I got to the, to the um, audition, and there were about eight other actresses in the waiting room. And I just thought, oh, no. I, and I said, Do you, could I please just go in? I have a babysitter situation. And they were so lovely. And they all said, sure, go on in ahead of us. And then when I, I sat in there, and Phil Rosenthal and, uh, and the director were chatting with me, and I was kind of looking around like I didn't know who Ray Romano was. I'd never set eyes on him. And there was a guy sitting almost behind the door like Boo Radley from To Kill a Mockingbird. And I was like, who's that guy? What's he doing in here? And, and then I realized that was the star of the show. And I'm like, I better keep clipping coupons because this doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Finally, I said, can, can we just, I'm sorry, could we just read? Can we read the sides? And they said, oh, will you read? Because your agent told us you wouldn't read, that you would only meet with us. I was like, are you kidding? I really need this job. Yes, I'll read for it. So um, that energy all really worked well with the character. I mean, I never had to, to do any research on the character. And every day I came in, and the scripts were dealing with exactly what was going on in my life. And there was also the fact that you, you were the only actress auditioning for the role who would kiss Ray, <laughs> in, the, Ray. in the audition. Yeah. What, first I of wasn't all, aware of that. I thought everyone was as desperate as I, as I was to get the <laughs> job, you know? Like, what do you want me to do? Um, but. Um, you know, and it was, you know, it was a very lovely kiss, and it was a very great script, and I knew right away when I read the script that it was a great show. Now, whether it's a success or not, you have no control over that, but yeah. I knew it was going to be It good. must have been hard to top it, though, and the middle's doing well, But the middle's so. doing well. We just finished our fourth season, and, um, you know, it's a thing. What's interesting is that show is now mirroring where I am in my life with my kids. So my kids are all teens, and the kids on this show are all teens. And we, we're struggling with going to college, getting into colleges, and you know, having a quirky son. I have a quirky son. You know, so it's, it's, it's been really great. Again, I, I walk into work, and they have my life scripted, and I get paid to act it out. So. Well, we're, we're glad you do.